Have you ever stumbled upon a television series that left a lasting impression, despite its brief existence? Manimal, a 1983 TV series, is one such show that has piqued the curiosity of viewers and ignited their imaginations. It raises the question, can a crime-fighting shapeshifter truly exist in the real world? Manimal offered an intriguing blend of science fiction and crime solving that has resonated with audiences over the years. As we explore some fascinating tidbits about this show, we'd like to know, can you share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's dive into the world of Manimal and uncover its hidden gems. Get ready for an intriguing journey into the past. Did you know that Manimal only aired for eight episodes, leaving a limited footprint in the world of television? Despite its short run, the show continues to be remembered for its unique premise and memorable characters. The series followed the adventures of Dr. Jonathan Chase, a wealthy and enigmatic man with the extraordinary ability to transform into any animal he chooses, ultimately aiding in solving crimes. Manimal's blend of science fiction, action, and crime solving set it apart from the typical TV fare of its time. Manimal wasn't just about shape-shifting, it was also a product of its era, with its 80 seconds charm and special effects that were groundbreaking at the time. While the show may not have achieved longevity, it has managed to garner a dedicated fan base and left a distinct mark on the history of television. So, before we delve into more intriguing details about Manimal, we're eager to hear your stories and memories related to this unique TV series. Share your experiences in the comments section below and let us know how Manimal may have inspired or impacted your life. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and anecdotes. In the 1983 TV series Manimal, the production team faced unique challenges when bringing animal transformations to life. Coordination between the production designer, director, set decorator, stunt supervisor, animal wrangler, and the actor was crucial for these scenes. Filming on a soundstage provided better control over animals, as location shoots were tricky. For instance, when a cobra was required for a script, the set had to be meticulously sealed to prevent the snake from escaping. A low wall sealed off one end of the set, and the camera crew had to lift their equipment into the walled-off stage area under the supervision of a snake wrangler. Notably, in the French version of the series, Canadian actor Richard Darbois provided the dubbing voice for Simon Mac Corkindale. Interestingly, the absence of a British accent led French viewers to assume that Simon was an American actor. Marie-Christine Dara lent her voice to Officer Brooke McKenzie in the French dub. Despite receiving mixed reviews elsewhere, Manimal found appreciation in France. Many French critics lauded its acting and high production values, expressing regret that the show didn't last longer. Some even considered resurrecting the series with the original cast. However, this plan didn't materialize. In conclusion, Manimal was a show that presented unique challenges in its animal transformation scenes, while also finding a devoted following in France, despite its brief run. The TV series Manimal from 1983 was a unique show that left a lasting impact. One interesting fact about the show is its popularity in France. It garnered a massive following and had numerous reruns, consistently earning high ratings. In 1988, the series was even rebroadcast in a unique format where viewers had to call in to choose the TV series they wanted to watch, and Manimal was the overwhelming favorite. The station reported record-breaking phone calls, despite the toll expense. This level of French admiration for the show demonstrates its enduring appeal. Manimal featured the character JC, who had a distinctive fashion choice. He owned a collection of silken bathrobes, often adorned with his initials JC, on the lapel. This added an element of elegance and wealth to his character. These aspects of the show, combined with its innovative concept of a man who could transform into animals, contributed to the series' impact and unique charm. Manimal remains a memorable part of television history, especially in the context of its French popularity. Manimal, the 1983 TV series, is best known for its protagonist's unique ability known as shapeshifting. The central character, Dr. Jonathan Chase, can transform into any animal at will. This superpower allows him to assist the police in solving crimes by taking on the form of various animals, providing invaluable assistance in unraveling mysteries. 
Although the series only ran for eight episodes, it shared some similarities with the 1998 show Animorphs, where teenagers could transform into animals. Manimal's concept of shapeshifting was its distinguishing feature, capturing the imagination of viewers with its crime-solving twist. In addition to its captivating premise, the show was notable for its interesting set design. J.C.'s apartment was adorned with a wide array of artifacts, most notably an Anubis statuette, reflecting his fascination with Egyptian mythology. While Manimal may not have been a long-running series, it left a mark in the world of television, showcasing a different take on the crime-solving genre with the power of shapeshifting. In the world of TV series, Manimal from 1983 has a few interesting tidbits worth exploring. One notable fact is that in the Spanish dubbing, the main character JC's insistence on being called by his initials results in the rather contrived translation of Jodeci. This not only sounds different from the original version, but also makes it a bit challenging to match lip movements due to the extra syllable in the name. It might have been simpler to stick with the English pronunciation and call him Jesse in foreign languages. Another intriguing detail is that the creator of the show, Glenna Larson, briefly brought back the character Jonathan Chase for a crossover with Nightman. However, this time, the traditional practical effects transformation seen in Manimal was abandoned in favor of a CGI sequence. Lastly, in an interview published in Infinity Magazine 23, Stu Phillips, the composer, revealed that he had composed the theme and incidental music for the pilot episode of Manimal, but it was ultimately rejected. This marked the only instance in his extensive 70-year career where his music went unused. These peculiar facts shed some light on the unique aspects of Manimal and the challenges it faced both in translation and in terms of special effects, making it a notable curiosity in the realm of television. This TV series has certainly left its mark in the world of entertainment, albeit in unconventional ways. Manimal, a TV series from 1983, is a show that requires a bit of suspension of disbelief. One of its peculiarities is that the main character, Jonathan Chase, insists on being called JC by the people he likes. The show's premise involves JC having the ability to shapeshift into various animals. When he transforms back into a human, his clothes magically reappear intact, despite being torn during the transformation. This, like other fantastical elements in TV shows, demands a certain level of suspension of disbelief from the audience. Just as Wonder Woman's tiara magically returns to her, and the Hulk conveniently finds clothes that fit after his transformations, Manimal's Bible includes this unusual aspect of J.C.'s abilities. It's all part of the escapism that makes such fantasy genre shows enjoyable for their fans. If you can accept these quirks, you're in for an entertaining hour of television. The DVD release of Manimal in France in 2012 is also noteworthy, as it happened three years before it became available in the USA, the show's home country. Manimal may have had its quirks, but it certainly left an impression on its international audience. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Manimal, a timeless TV series that whisked us away to an extraordinary realm of transformation and adventure in the year 1983, we find ourselves at a unique crossroads. Manimal, with its enigmatic premise and the compelling journey of Dr. Jonathan Chase, has left an indelible mark on our hearts. But it's not merely a show, it's an experience that connects us through time. Think back to those moments when you first encountered the magic of Manimal. Perhaps you were sitting on your living room floor, gazing at the flickering screen, or maybe you stumbled upon it during a late night binge. The beauty of Manimal is that it transcends time and space, sparking conversations and shared memories across generations. Now, as you reflect on this remarkable series, we invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts. Did you marvel at the breathtaking transformation sequences, or did you find yourself enthralled by the mysteries that unfolded with each episode? Maybe it was the sheer audacity of a man turning into any animal that struck a chord with you. Or perhaps the nostalgia of the 80 seconds takes you on a trip down memory lane, making Manimal even more special. Your memories, your thoughts, and your connection with Manimal are unique, and we want to hear about them. Share your favorite moments, your most loved episodes, or the impact this series had on your life. Join us in celebrating the magic of Manimal and the way it has touched the lives of so many.
Thank you for taking this moment to reminisce and share your thoughts. We appreciate your time and your passion for this timeless classic. Manimal's legacy lives on through you, and together, we continue to keep the spirit of this extraordinary series alive. Share your memories and thoughts, and let's keep the magic of Manimal thriving.